When a can doesn't have its brand prominently displayed on the front or some sort of branding clearly evident, it makes me wonder what to think about the brew. But this peach ale, which I found is by Campanology Brewing from Wanaki, Wisconsin, is a Kettle Sour Berliner Weizen style ale with peach puree apple and pineapple juice. And that description caused me to throw caution to the wind and buy a couple cans so I can see what they're like. You know what? I'm going to swirl this because um, from my previous pours, I had a big glass that I was pouring the entire can into. And there is a, well, there's puree in this. So it's a, um, it needs to be mixed up. And since I'm only going to be pouring part of the can into this little glass, I'll need to do the mixing in the can. Let's see how much of that puree I can get in here. Suspended enough. Now let's go for the money shot. And part two. Yeah, that works good. Yeah, there's some in there. Okay, so a peach ale without any branding really evident on the face of the can. There's a small Campanology brewing with a seahorse in a ship's bell, 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 ship's bell, ship's bell um, on the backside. So I'm assuming this is a pretty small brewery. I have not heard of it before. This is a 7% ABV and it doesn't have any bittering information on it. So well, you know, like I said, it was the description of the beer that got me, not necessarily the uh, other warnings. Smelling it, there's there's a bit of peach. Frankly, it feels like the pineapple takes over the smell. It's not all pineapple, but it's clearly like a pineapple and peach smoothie kind of smell. A Berliner Weizen, I believe, or Weizen is um is a pretty dry, tart beer, I want to say. So this might be a heavy wheat recipe, or it may simply be a sour ale, which typically speaking, you will expect um, a, well, and white, the white is because of wheat. So yes, this is going to be a heavy wheated, heavily wheated um, beer, tart sour beer, kettle sour, that they have added peach puree plus apple and pineapple juice too. Adding fruit juices and possibly even purees is pretty common, especially for summer drinks in Germany. The, um, the shandy is kind of an American version of that, where you add a fruit juice to a, a pilsner or a blonde ale of some sort, a pale ale of some sort. And in... Um, there's, there's, I believe, German or Belgian styles that are similar. Uh, Lambics, I believe it's not mixed in. It's like brewed with the fruit to begin with. And though I might be wrong with that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a relatively common thing. Oh, I, I, ah, goodness gracious. What is that? I've drunk them before on channel. Uh, Bitburger and, um, oh, a few others make them. They are some of my wife's favorite summer beers. And in fact, she has them in there in the fridge right now. Uh, German beers, pale colored beers with fruit in them. That's a common thing. So this is not an uncommon or unique expression of classic beer. That's for sure. Uh, it's just Campanology Brewing's own take on an old and good thing. So like I said, smell, peach, and pineapple. The peach might be tinned peach or canned peach. It, it has kind of that sweet peach smell rather than the tart or um, juicy on the trees kind of peach smell, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I liked canned peaches, or I still do. I love canned peaches. They're really good. <laughs> I probably have them more often than fresh peaches. <laughs> Convenience factor. <laughs> They already did the hard work getting it off the stone. Now 
and really the fruit is all is all I'm smelling in here. It's a real dominant part of the beer. So let's uh, see what I taste. Oh goodness, that is sweet. Yeah, this is a this is like a, a peach and pineapple um, a smoothie, and. I'd be hard pressed to find the the beer in this realistically, which is saying something considering it's a seven percent. Though a really high ABV beer like that, the it could be boozy, and so that boozy might almost be coming through as a um, as a peach cocktail almost note. So when you're when you're creating a maybe a, a peach uh, Bellini. It's a really sweet cocktail. Most cocktails are, or many cocktails are. Uh, and frankly, I am kind of getting a, a note, kind of a peach Bellini note. And so maybe this, it's the, the beer is mo mostly present as booziness <laughs> through this. <laughs> that is sweet. It could, drunk cold, this is going to be best. Definitely. Once it warms up, it's going to cross over from dessert sweet to cloying sweet. So I would definitely recommend, um, if peach bellinis are, are your thing, if fruit smoothies are your thing, if you like your desserts really sweet and you want to see a beer that rivals your sweetest dessert, this isn't a bad choice. But I think the canned peach flavor to this, it's not, it's not my favorite thing. Because the pineapple is really sweet, apple juice is just adding, if anything, more sweetness. And the peaches are not, you know, slightly tart, fresh from the tree, um, you know, beautifully, luxuriantly, uh, brightly sweet. They are simply this canned peach sweet. It's just sweet on sweet on sweet. And there's nothing to break the to, to, to break the monotony. This is not the same kind of sweetness as the uh, milk stout I had a couple months ago that was also sweet, 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 monotonously so. This is a very different sweetness. This is a fruit, peach, and pineapple sweetness, not just this sugar uh, sweetness that that one was. So it is different. There's definitely more going on simply because it's a different flavor of sweetness, but it would have benefited from that puree being of fresh peaches a lot. And frankly, probably drop the apple juice altogether or drop the pineapple or drop both. Because I can imagine a decent kettle sour Berliner Weisse with a really nice fresh peach puree in there Chef's kiss. I want that now. All I got's this. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to end this. This has been me, Matthew. I have been drinking the Campanology Brewing from Wanaki, Wisconsin, Peach Ale, a Kettle Sour Berliner Weisse style ale with peach puree, apple, and pineapple juice. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.